Hey everybody, welcome back. We are gonna get the day started, but <laughs> I gotta love my trucker friends, all you truckers out there. That's awesome, but it's hard to get out of the parking stall when uh, you're boxed in. So we're gonna watch little videos and uh, hope and pray for the WorkSharp launch to go well today. And we're gonna, we gotta search for a couple things today. So we're gonna go along and check out um, maybe, I gotta find a new range case, a hard one. Uh, I don't like carrying the stock one with that stuff. Uh, go to doing some more practice. They have some certain rules, but yeah, you know, Cisco at the heart of the food and service. Shout out to all the early working hard people out there, or maybe it's hard working early people. I don't know. Anyways, let's go see what today can unfold. Sometimes when you need to know where to put it, you go to the container store. <laughs> let's go see what they got. They got crafts and hobbies. All sorts of fun stuff. Been here a few times, but yeah, more than meets the eye. Let's see if we can find something useful today. Okay, they got a tactics toolbox. They got some different sizes. I think these are the 59, they're stacking. These are 89, bigger ones. That's what they got inside. Okay. Useful on some occasions. Huh. Let's see what else they got. Oh, they got litter bags. I might get one of those litter bags. Car trash bags. Right here. I need something like that. Instead of the junk just plugging up things. Portable seat caddies. I don't know. It's 20 bucks though. It's pretty expensive. Maybe we'll find something else somewhere. Parking mats, you need to know how to park. That's some part divider boxes, or divided part boxes. Some smaller ones, be kind of handy, I guess. Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm gonna have to get this small one right here. Might be good for pocket clips and small parts. I need to build something like that. Like the side entry. I grab one of those. Got some bigger ones. Got a really big one here. And they got like a little mini toolbox. Kind of like you see at the uh, Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff. Craftsman. It's always fun when they have a clearance section. You're like, do I need any of this stuff? Maybe. Maybe not. Some stuff over here. Let's see what they got. Styling converters for your travel. Worldwide travelers. Mr. Worldwide. Speaking of travel. All right. Well, tech accessory organizer for when you're on the go. Hmm. They got a lot of cool stuff in here. Very colorful too, if you want some color colorful drawers <laughs> and not the ones that go in the washer this is kind of cool if you want to pack all your own travel stuff you got all the like little toothbrushes different toothbrush covers soap holders mini mirror led spotlights pill bags pill boxes three section ones sprayers aerosol misters Oh, very cool. Bring all your own stuff with you. Breaking news. You know what I found? Nelly's dryer balls. Somebody needs to alert Big Red ASAP. Pretty much every hanger you can imagine, if you want for your closet or whatever, they got here. All the way down to wood ones, metal ones, fabric, plastic, velvet. Man. Hanger selection on point here. Ooh, they got the little hooks too. You want to take your own hook to go to the store, get something off the top shelf. There you go. They didn't forget to color coordinate the plastic hangers. So whatever you're fancy, there you go. Now, of course, they have some random bins of those fun little gadgets that you see on TV. 
and you know things that you want to maybe just get for your mom mother's day is coming up you know or that uh, girlfriend that loves your knife collection so much maybe she needs some potato clips i don't know just a couple options here uh really cool to see this little trinket bin i guess you could say let's see what else we can get into and go see what else is out there i don't know if i've ever shown this close up on one of my visits but i got quite a few different mounts in here full size and then in the back they got a little bit of a uh, fishery so let's go take a look at the fish on the way to the fish got your cougar sorry mountain lion <laughs> look at that they even got a trophy mark pretty rad got some of those beautiful beautiful fish in there man just drop a line in snag one out See if we can get a closer look at this at the reflection. We're all going to the other side. Let's go visit. Beautiful colors. Don't forget the little guys. All right, checking for deals. Don't see any crazy deals yet? Let's zoom in a little bit. Kind of see what we got for prices. Styles, the CRKT, Smith & Wesson, M&P Kershaw, Zog, Buck, Buck Buck. Two spider cones. ZT. A little selection of cases. Corner Beauty from Mitch Made Offerings. See if they have any of their exclusives. Even though they're supposedly gone, gone. None here. Got some Meat Crafter stuff. Steep Country, Adamas. Tagged out, Mini Adamas. All right. Had to come in and check the price on vitamins. You got your brass, 15 bucks for 50. Got some of the others, let's see here. Winchester's rolling 20. For theirs, Federal's 22. Hmm. Not sure. Quite a big difference between Blazer and Winchester prices. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. What I should go with. What vitamins are the best. And there's Sierra, which uh, I was told is like Cabela's brand or some sort of generic brand of theirs they have made but just looking for something for uh daily there's a hundred target for 30 so about the same price as a blazer all right on to the cases so plano makes a single case here let's take a peek see if it's gonna be much different than the stock okay full foam double closure 15 bucks not terrible but I can put some stickers of my own on it, so it's kind of a good option. Got some bigger ones and stuff down through here. I don't know if I want to go that big, but got a couple little options here for some of your longer pieces. Oh, they jump way up on this one. Must be an airtight one for 170. <laughs> some softies, of course. A little vitamin case. It's kind of neat. Put that in uh, back of your rig. A couple smaller cans. Got a bunch of softies, but you can't use the soft cases for range day because they want the hard cases. So it looks like they just have the one option. <laughs> Maybe I'll look online. Let me know down in the comments. You guys know of uh, any good uh, smaller cases like that that are better than uh, the first one I showed? the ultimate security system so i just want to show these haven't showed them before but extreme adventure kit you got a light a radio one of the emergency radios as well that one's got a hand crank on it also got a little plug-in so you can charge your phone and stuff really cool to put in your emergency kit um, they got crank flashlights here as well um, 13 dollars blackout buddies those kind of things led flashlights multicolors, motion sensors of course, they got the uh, digital thermometers and stuff. Emergency radio is pretty good for 20 bucks. 
if you want to put that in your kit. But there's some good things to have, especially at the house. This one's a pretty good deal. Uh, you're getting your flint, steel, some bandages, a whistle. That water filter is huge, and then a light. This is kind of a good combo. If they made a combo with all, everything, maybe more of a deluxe kit, so you can get that emergency radio in there too, that'd be pretty sweet. But yeah, pretty good options. And of course, we showed before, but you know, Cabela's Bass Pro Shops got your uh, Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee and gear. Pretty cool stuff. Not sure how many of you have one of these near you, but we're gonna check out this 511 store and see what's going on. So as we come in, we're looking at all sorts of fun little 511 knives. They also have this $5 table going, which is kind of cool because they have a sale that's about to happen. So they're first starting with these uh, patches here, some other little trinkets, keychains, uh, the little pen Velcro things you can put on your bag. Um, on the other side here, we have some of those keychain little lanyard things, all five bucks each. That's pretty cool. Got a little tiny wallet there. But the sales start happening May 9th and, of course, May 11th, 5 -11, right? You got all your tack vests, your plates, all the awesome pouches you can put on there. Really cool you can get hands-on with this stuff. All the belts that you can imagine that 5 -11 has, you can try them on. You can see lengths. You can see how those buckles work for you. I definitely encourage you to check one out if you have one nearby. Of course, they got their BDU shorts in stock. They got all your tactical gloves your tactical knee pads, hashtag tactical life. And then of course the new chest rigs, and those are kind of cool. Uh, if you're gonna go hiking um, or even just maybe walking around town, maybe you want a chest rig. A lot of different options for them. Of course they got their shoes, their boots on hand. I'm talking over this video section because there was a lot of prints playing and other stuff and I know that would get a copyright claim so I just wanted to get some extra audio over this. but. Really cool that you can go in, check out everything they have. They even have some like van looking shoes. Uh, of course, some of their classic boots that you've seen a lot of from 511, but really cool stuff overall. Of course, you can't forget their polos and their awesome BDUs. They got a full selection. You can try them on different materials, different thickness, different styles overall. But really cool, they got their t-shirts and stuff, and I'm excited to see what their sale has to offer. So thanks for checking out the 511 and all their fun stuff with me. Okay, don't anyone tell Dutch Bros. It's just a quick stop, I promise. Okay, I went with the uh, Trenta No Classic iced tea and a uh, bacon breakfast sandwich, a turkey bacon. So it's half healthy, right? All right, let's go check something else out. Okay, we got a special treat today. I don't know if you can see the sign, but we're gonna take probably the shortest ferry that you've ever seen across the river. Let's do it. All right, we're waiting for the green light, but it's a beautiful Clackamas River here in Oregon, just outside Portland. You can see the ferry right there. We're gonna take that bad boy across. Looks like it's heading this way. In case you're curious about the cost of this Canby Ferry, there's the cost for cars and pickups, motorcycles, bicycles, pedestrians, vehicles and trailers, all sorts of fun stuff. So there you go. Now this is an electric ferry on a cable line system that's underneath the water. So it'll hold about, I think six to eight vehicles, depending on what type of vehicles you got, but pretty rad little system and uh, save some time for you for sure. All right, we're gonna mount up here on the ferry. Sorry about the uh, width. My phone holder doesn't hold it that direction. We're being told to hit the left side, so we'll get the left side going. Get loaded up, mounted up. We'll get a picture here in a second. So beautiful out here. If you ever get a chance to visit the Clackamas area just south of Portland, Clackamas River is beautiful, lots of parks, and of course, fun little ferry. And we are rolling. Kind of a fun little deal. It's gonna take us across over here. I'll hold it stable there so you can see. We're going probably, I don't know, five, six miles an hour. But fun little trip. 
thanks for joining in with it. Let's keep moving. Okay, we had to get one last shot, of course, of going straight across the river here, but it's fun. <laughs> Have a good day. We're gonna keep moving on. Gotta see if we can get a couple things dialed in for the office. So the goal today is to look at office chairs. Need one that's uh, a little more comfortable. Maybe one of those like breathable types, you know? Not sure. Maybe you guys can recommend something too. I guess I'm asking a lot of questions today, but we'll go see if we can sit in a couple and check them out. Got a few options. Some of these leather vinyl ones. Might get a little hot and sweaty if you're sitting in them for a while, so. Kinda like the idea of these, but they don't look super comfortable. Shaq says you got some executive seating. They still don't look super breathable. Well, let's see what the other side says. A little place called Rokes for burgers and dogs. There's the menu. Well, I went with the short dog. I didn't realize it was gonna be half of a regular hot dog, but, and then uh, I got the Coney Island fries. All right, let's keep moving. Hey everybody, as we wrap up this daily adventure and this vlog, just wanna give a huge shout out to all of you for checking this video out and supporting the channel and to our friends at Benchmade, putting together a little fundraiser on the side here locally. Um, they donated a couple small things, so it was really cool of them to do that. And oh, before we get into the wrap-up, what was I carrying today? So I had the Benchmade Anthem, that sweet, sweet Benchmade Anthem with that MXG gear titanium clip. And let's listen to the sounds. Oof, so clean. And then, of course, I picked up the tagged out to carry today as well. Something thin, something bigger, bladed, and slicey. 14 degree edge those flytanium scales and g10 on it makes it a, a super solid knife so anyways you guys and gals i hope you hashtag dskfs do something kind for someone take care but most importantly have an awesome rest of your day